First, go ahead and click on the hyperlink assigned to your dealership where CRM was created. Put in your uh, username and your password from G2 and click on Sales CRM Online. Uh, first, uh, you have four tabs, Leads, Traffic, Contacts, Opportunities, and Activities. We're focused on the workflow right now from an up, so we'll click on Create Up. There are four different types, Phone Up, Walk-In, Be Back, and Web. And in this instance, we're going to choose Walk-In, but Walk-In and Phone Up are basically the same, just two different types of contact. Enter the customer's name when appropriate to do so. And we're looking for Adam Scott. We don't find an Adam Scott, so I'm hitting Add. And now I'll type in Adam Scott's name. And the information that I have so far. This is the marketing source that brought him into. So he was a walk-in. And why did he walk in? Because he drove by. Those tables are configured by your dealership. So we're at the contacts. I don't see him. Let's hit refresh. And there he is. So let's click on Adam Scott. And let's go ahead and edit or add to the information that we, uh, content information we have about Adam. So I'm hitting the pencil. And at this point, you have many fields, spouse, address, uh, all the details that you want to enter uh, can now be entered into the contact. Next, let's focus on the opportunity that was created. Click on the opportunity name, and that will bring us into the opportunity details. You have two ways of adding a unit um, for a customer. You can go to the inventory and click on add, and that will add the unit to the uh, as an interest to the customer. But let's go ahead and get rid of that, and now add a unit on the fly. In other words, uh, we're not gonna use the inventory. We're gonna put in uh, just general interest. So we're hitting add. And again, you can see there's no stock number involved. Uh, this is called ad hoc. Um, you don't have what he wants and you're, uh, he, it's something you might get in. And now that is the unit of interest. And again, I can create a sales quote at this time if I wish to. But let's add a trade first. As a note, when you do add a trade within your opportunity and then you create a sales quote afterwards, it will take that uh, trade information and add that to the sales quote that you create. If you happen to have pictures, you could drag pictures to here and save pictures of the trade. And again, you could click on create. Uh, here, that sales quote is created. And if you go to the general DMS, you'll find that sales quote number there. Okay, let's just take a quick second and look at the activities. So create activity. We'll do a phone call, put in the notes why you're calling, And then you have your phone call associated with Adam Scott. I do really like this. If you click on activities, you're going to see all of your activities as a default. But if you click on the calendar, you can now just see due yesterday or overdue, due today, due tomorrow, due this week, due next week. Uh, very handy features. And of course, you can do a custom range if you wish to. Now we didn't change the opportunity name, so we're going back in the opportunity name again and hitting the pencil. 
and up here at the top, the opportunity name, the opportunity name is your keyword search. So say he's looking for travel trailer. So I put in TT pound sign, rear kitchen. By the way, wait, why TT pound sign? Uh, three character search is a lot more efficient than a two character search. So the pound sign is kind of a placeholder I use. Up to you. But any word you're seeing here, if I type that in, in the search bar, it will find this opportunity. And then you work your opportunity uh, as you go. And now you can see the uh, name has been updated and I can search for any of those in that search bar above. And the, the end of this workflow is the, what you do with it. So I can edit it. So click on that, change what I need to change or under action, I can mark it lost. I'm not selling it. It's not going to happen for some reason. And choose the reasons there. Or I can mark it one. But just before we do that, I want to emphasize, make sure you create your sales quote first. And then you go ahead and mark it one. And that is the workflow of a opportunity all the way from creating the up.